Anne is asking, have you heard about a medical professional in Canada who apologized for promoting an article that criticized hijab as diversity and inclusion because of the reality of its use in oppressing women? No, I haven't heard of this specific incident, although I'm not entirely surprised. Um, hmm. Canada does not have a good history of dealing with these things. I think we covered a story of a someone from Iran who was talking about, like literally posting about an honor killing in Iran that had to do with not wearing hijab or something like that and calling out the hijab and what it stood for and how damaging it is. And he got fired for that. Mm, I have a I have a suggestion for how to get more leftists to understand what the hijab rep represents. Okay, because if you if you keep mentioning that hijab oppresses women, there are plenty of example of there are plenty of examples of women who wear the hijab without being forced, right? And some people actually like it. You, you, you like I know some a lot of ex Muslims and atheists kind of pretend like no everybody is forced. Not everybody is forced. Some people actually enjoy it. Some people see it as a fashion statement. Some people see it as, a, as their identity, especially in the liber liberal Muslims in the West. It's not the same as like people in Iran or Saudi Arabia or Afghanistan. They actually do enjoy, like it's kind of like a cross that you wear around your necklace. You see that as, you know, some. there are many people, women who actually love it, enjoy it, uh, celebrate it, okay? So... If you want to completely say that this is a sign of oppression, then a lot of liberals or leftists would say like, well, yeah, it's oppression in Iran. Uh, it's oppression in Afghanistan, but it's not always oppression. And they would be actually right for you, for them to, they would be correct to say that it's not always oppression. It is, to me, uh, it is a symbol of oppression always, but that's, you know, that's my view of it. It's not their view of it, right? Um, it's, to me, it's actually a symbol of slavery. Okay. Okay. So, but here's here's what you here's another line that I prefer to use instead of saying it's a symbol of oppression. Oppress is oppressing women because it's it's not always oppressing women. Um, one thing that a lot of leftists and liberals are sensitive about, and rightfully so, and what the hijab is, is modesty culture. Right. Um, that's I think a better line to use against what the hijab represents than oppressing women because it is you know even in places where it is not oppressing women it is still modesty culture that's what it represents right um and again say, we don't want people not to celebrate it i mean like i mean we do but we don't want to push people not to celebrate the hijab like but we we want people to be able to wear the hijab when they want to wear the hijab but we also want to just be able to point out that hey by the way and that's in our opinion that's modest you're, you're promoting modesty culture like you do you you wear your hijab like i'm not saying like you we should fight against the hijab people should be like shamed for wearing their job that is ridiculous right you're demonizing people for their uh, lifestyle and their choices that's horrible we just want to be able to just make the point like it's okay like you do you okay um we just wanted to remind everybody that this is modesty modesty culture that's all all we want to point out it's not it's not very extremely aggressive about it right what do you think uh, do you think that's a better way to address this yeah i think mm. a lot of people don't understand the context of what's going on um yeah. and they just have um the sole experience of women being persecuted and the victims of hate crimes because of their hijab so they're mm. sensitive about that rightfully so um but they need to widen their awareness about yeah, where this comes from so, and what it means. By the way, somebody in the live chat is saying this is only Patreon questions. We will get to the live chat questions as soon as we're done with the Patreon questions. We're, I'm starring them as they come. But I do want to address this one right away. Somebody is saying, how is hijab a choice when you're indoctrinated into wearing it? It's, again, that That's is a, a lot of question. No, no, but it's not always indoctrination. Like, it's like, I mean, it's most of the time it is, like, I, you know. But I'm just saying you can't generalize. They like, can't act like it's always a case. Like there are people who didn't. I mean, it's not like the majority, but there there are Muslim women who grew up without the hijab, and now all of a sudden they're you know having the comeback to Jesus moment. Except this time is 
Muhammad, okay? Uh, and they're like, I don't know, like, this is a thing that I want to use as a symbol of showing that I'm part of community. And they celebrate it, they enjoy it, they feel like this is represents them. It do, it's not always indoctrination. It, it, however, in many, in many cases it is, okay? But even when it is not indoctrination, it's still bad because it's modesty culture. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.